How's it going, YouTube reefers? Um, here is the finished product of the sump that I've been working on. Um, <clears throat> basically what I did was got some cardboard, went to my table saw and cut a bunch of cardboard, um, stuck it in here and just kind of measured. And I mean, I don't even know how well this is gonna work out with the flow rate but uh, I kind of try to um, follow the trigger system. So water's gonna dump into here, overflow over my filters, overflow this, um, which kind of wish I would have notched this out a little bit, but, uh, cause it is pretty, pretty close, but we'll see how it works. Um, refugium in the middle, Go through the baffles, got the um, the crate in there. If I want to put some media down there, and this beast of a pump is going to be uh, powering it all. It's the 9.0. Um, even just turned down to like 14%, this thing is just blasting water. So uh, yeah, just kind of showing you what I've what I've got. Um, gonna be putting this thing also in uh, together with my system I was thinking about putting it in here um, originally and then I said you know what I'd rather have a refugium and then because the whole it, it takes up the whole the whole space it's crazy so anyway uh, took these pieces to or took my cardboard to the local glass shop here and the guys ended up um, cutting all the glass for me and fabricating that little that little rounded part there for the water to come out. Um, I want to say it was like 75 bucks or something like that. It was pretty pretty good deal. All the other people that say that they are making these sumps um, are going to Home Depot and getting plate glass. Um, my area out here in California, uh, they do not have quarter inch plate glass the thickest that they had was like three sixteenths which is not very thick at all and I, I just don't trust it so I said no I gotta get some some plate glass and um, basically they just cut it for me um, yeah cut it for me I started off with uh, masking tape and making it real nice um, but ended up getting kind of sloppy as you can kind of see with my, my baffle here. I actually had, uh, these two swapped and I looked at it, I'm like, wait a minute, that's not right. So I had to like redo it. Um, so it didn't come out as clean as the other stuff here. Um, but then again, it matches the factory cause they, their stuff is kind of, kind of, and it's crazy because I, I used Aqu Aquion clear glue, and this has been cured from factory, and this has been cured for what two, two going on three days now, and this is clearer than, than the factory. So just kind of weird. Um, anyway, this is, this is what it is. Uh, Forty breeder DIY sump. Got the Octo 250 external that I'm gonna be setting up. Going to be powering it with that 9.0 from CJ. Uh, here it is now with the lights turned off. Got another one of these coming in the mail. Um, thanks to Parker's Reef for his suggestion of using the lock line for a mount. That was awesome. Uh, I was looking for something to kind of go with my setup here. Uh, but I also DIY'd with uh, the, the 2040 extruded aluminum. Um, it's been proven to be pretty cool. So 
I'm happy with it. Anyway, here's a little update of what's been going on and what I'm planning to do. Um, this will become the the fish closet. It's not exactly a room. So I've got some junk in here right now, but uh, hopefully that'll all be set up. I'm actually waiting for a shelving unit so that I can put the, the 40 breeder on. And then I'm gonna run um, some spa line or something through the wall, through the wall there and, and, and end up putting my 40 breeder somewhere down there. There's an ATO that I went down to Tap Plastics and these sheets were like a dollar each. So I just took, it to, took them to the table saw and I don't even know what this thing holds, but it's you know, for like what, five bucks? and tinkering a little bit, stuff that I like to do. Got myself a little ATO. All I gotta do now is figure out uh, a lid for it and then mount a float on it for my RO. But yeah, this is uh, my little project here. I wanted to give you guys a, a little, little tour of it after kind of showing you what I've done with this. 40 breeder DIY sump. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time.